Today is the feast day of Saints Simon and Jude. Saint Simon was uh, the zealot, the one who Jesus called. He was, you know, kind of the muscle. Uh, and then Saint Jude um, is known as the patron of hopeless cases and of things despaired of. Um, I grew up at Saint Jude the Apostle in Sandy Springs, and um, every Sunday before Mass, we prayed the prayer to St. Jude, asking for his special uh, intercession and protection. I was, as I, I was vesting for Mass, and I was looking at the prayers uh, for the Mass. I was recalling uh, the hymn to St. Jude that we sang at our all-school Masses. Great St. Jude, hear our prayer. Guide us with thy loving prayer. Help us now. No, I don't remember. I'd have to sing it to do it, but you know, it's one of those things that's like, seared into my brain. Um, one of the uh, interesting lines, though, of the prayer to St. Jude is, uh, the name of the traitor who delivered your beloved master into the hands of his enemies has caused you to be forgotten by many. Um, and then we think, okay, well, yeah, what was Jude really known for um, in the gospel and the Acts of the Apostles? Yes, he's an apostle. Um, and why is it that he's the patron of hopeless cases? And what does that mean for us? Patron of hopeless cases. All of us can think of things in our lives where we say, yeah, there's just, that's just a hopeless case. There's nothing there. Uh, maybe it's a family member. Uh, maybe it's some you know, personal struggle in our own life. Uh, and we say, yeah, I just uh, entrust it to St. Jude. Entrust that person to St. Jude. Um, entrust that struggle to St. Jude. Lord, I don't, I don't know what else to do on this. I've done everything I can. Um, and now... I have to rely completely on your grace. I have to trust in you alone. And so, St. Jude, my great patron, um, I entrust this to you. Buenos dias. Como están? Muchos son judas, ¿verdad? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Okay. Excelente. Tienen una gran devoción a San Judas, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? ¿Por qué? ¿Sí? ¿Y cuál fue el milagro? Ok. Excelente. Y ahora tienen esa gran devoción. Qué, bueno, qué bonito. They have a great devotion to St. Jude because they uh, asked as well for uh, a, a hopeless case for healing of somebody um, and attribute that healing that did occur uh, to the intercession of St. Jude. So every year they uh, come on St. Jude's feast day to uh, give thanks and to uh, ask for his continued protection. Would that we could have uh, so strong a devotion, uh, so strong a trust in God's providence, so strong a trust in uh, the power of prayer. So uh, on this feast day, um, it's, it's not really St. Jude that's forgotten about because of the name of Judas. Unfortunately, it's St. Simon who's forgotten about because we say, well, hold on, St. Jude, he's the patron of hopeless cases. He, I got more, I, uh, there's more he can do for me. Um, but let us continue to pray through the intercession of St. Simon and Jude um, that indeed we may always trust in God um, and that we may continue to walk in the way of Christ.